Well, hello guys, Cody Folks here with my 300 hour review of Helldivers 2 for Democracy! So, I guess one of the things we should talk about first here is all the nerfs that people are saying is happening in the game. One of the big ones here is the flamethrower. So let's check that out. Alright, so here's me fighting an impaler. Now this actually worked out pretty well. Let's see what happens. Yeah, burn you bastard. Doesn't look like he's ever doing anything to him. Oh, there <laughs> we go. <laughs> so yeah, that actually worked quite well against an impaler. But let's see what else we got here. Alright, so here I have my flamethrower. We're gonna try to flame up a little horde here. Now, I forgot about this guy's fucking make it hard to use a flamethrower. Haha. Uh -huh. see, in this situation, they don't work too great. Out, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they got that. Yeah, spewing spiders. So, there's some of the things you can expect with the flamethrower. When you're up against the wild spewers like that, it's just very hard to outcompete them with your flamethrower. You just can't kill them as fast as they can kill you. So, that's one of the issues with the flamethrower for sure, which is those are considered medium enemies. So really, the flamethrower is designed more to kill the light enemies, but let's see how it works against them. Alright, so there's one of those newer uh, hive guards. That yeah, worked pretty well against him. Wow, that worked pretty good. Yeah, it sure did. Well, yeah. Except that hey, I called myself on fire. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any of the flame armor, so... But yes, that's one of the issues with the flamethrower. You catch yourself on fire. Now... If you've seen from what I showed, made it look like it was pretty effective. But the truth of it is, after I did them a couple missions where I was tr trying out the flamethrower, my kill counts were very low, like in the 30 to 60 range. So that tells me that the flamethrower wasn't quite cut. And, you know, I just couldn't kill enough of the light stuff and get time to call down my strategies and stuff like that to kill the big stuff. So there's at least that on the nerf side. Is the flamethrower good? I don't know, it's, it's mediocre at best. You guys let me know down in the comments. Alright guys, well I guess it's time to talk about the bad of the game here next. So I'm going to save the good for last. So, bad things in the game. One of the issues that my friend and I have ran into is a lot of times when we're playing, we'll be sitting there shooting stuff, and we go to reload, just absolutely slamming my R key on my keyboard constantly to try to get it to reload, and it just won't reload. Do any of you guys out there have that problem? Let me know down in the comments. But I think I have figured out what it is. So when I'm hitting an arrow key to run and then try to hit the R key at the same time, it seems like only one input's happening. But we have a friend that plays with us who has a controller, and when he uses this controller, I've never heard him complain about it at all. So maybe it's a keyboard problem. I'm not 100% sure about that. There's some other things. I'm in. I am level 60 now, and I have all the weapons unlocked. I also have the vast majority of the ship upgrades unlocked. So, for me, once you reach that level, you just don't really have anything to motivate you to want to play anymore. Now, other than the game itself is very fun. It's a good time, especially when you drop in with friends. But other than that, like, I play it solo a lot just because I wanted the progress, you know? And now that's not really there for me anymore, so it takes my desire away to want to play solo all the time, or even with randoms, you know? Like, I still have a lot of fun playing with my friends. And the other thing, I just got a text message from my friend that I play with, and he said one of the things he would like to see is more missions. I too would like to see that, and more variety of missions. We're just, not, most things we have are just, go to here, blow this up or grab some item and take it somewhere else, you know, that's like really the gist of it all. I'd like to see some stuff like let us drop in with like some C CEF forces, you know, and like have a battle where we gotta help them defend some trenches or something like that, that would be freaking awesome, you know what I mean? Anything like that they could add in the game I think would be absolutely great. So that's more or less my thoughts on the bad. If you guys want to let me know some more stuff like that down in the comments that you think are wrong with the game, feel free to let me know. I want to know what, what you guys think about it. Alright guys, let's talk about the good parts of the game. 
As you can see right here, I got my spear ready, a whole bunch of gunships flying around. Chaos in this game, I absolutely love. It's just, uh, watch this, boom! <laughs> Friend just blew him up with all I can, I'm over here getting him with the spear. Everything just, uh, you know, when you play with your friends, shouting out orders, we definitely use comms when we play. I would highly recommend you guys do that too. Makes it a lot easier. But yeah, the gameplay of this is, is great for the most part. I could have put it in the bad part about the primaries. It would be nice if our primaries were just a little more effective, you know. As you see right there, like it took all of us just to take down that small little wave of guys. Now my friends aren't necessarily the most experienced. One's I think level 30, the other guy's like level 16 or something like that. They do well though for this is our this is a, me taking them on their first hell dive. <laughs> So obviously you see the chaos going on. Gotta love it. Yeah, get that dirty guy. Oh yeah. If you ever want to play, especially if you want to play solo, that setup I have right there is very, very good. A spear with a marksman rifle versus the robots. Man, it won't let you down. Use the spear just to kill their factories from a distance and run away and go engage the next one. Oh, they got me! <laughs> But there you go, that is my thoughts on old Helldivers 2. Anything you guys want to say down in the comments, you're more than welcome to. I want to hear the good, I want to hear the bad. But until I see you next time, I hope you guys are having lots of fun gaming out there. Goodbye.